Okay, guys. Here's what I did. I just put this together right now. Seeing how I don't have the room back there now. And we are so busy right now. He doesn't have time to level the dirt for me. So I threw some veggie scraps, some rabbit manure. Throw some more veggie scraps in here. See the good veg veggie scraps? Just throw that all in. Tea bags. You know, apple cores. Um, you know, potato skins, eggshells, uh, cough, uh, tea bags, you know, carrot tops, and when you skin your carrots and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to just leave this like this for right now, because this is for hay bales we just picked up from our friend. And what I'm going to do with the remaining window I have left is do this, because I did this before back when we had our greenhouses in a different location. And I lined all the way down the sides of the greenhouses in the back with these straw, well, with straw bales and then put the, the plastic in there because if you don't and you just put the window on right here, you can have all kinds of stuff growing out of this. So this way, you also have more thermal banking as well, but <laughs> Of course, you have to deal with the plastic moving. Just slide this up here. It's hard to do in video at the same time. And now pulling the plastic as well. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is not working very good. Hang on, right here. We'll just throw this bucket over. Hopefully y'all can see. it but you get the gist of it um, then when you and we'll put some soil in there over the top and as that kind of breaks down a little bit the idea is to keep this covered but then also have some blocks that you can put under here or on the side that you can just lift this up on sunny days and on super sunny days with this kind of method, I found that you do end up having to put some shade cloth on top. At least here in Oklahoma because it gets really hot. So this is just a makeshift. Um, a friend buys this every year and she uses it for decorations. And then when the fall holiday is over with, then she gives it to me. And we use it here on the farm. Well, seeing how my little... <laughs> mess played out there here's what i decided to do with it so this is hay last year she had straw this is hay this year yeah see that's going to blow over and kind of be a little bit of an issue but i just did this we just went by there and picked this up and i just threw this together so and there's nothing growing in there yet because we still have to put the soil in there and put the soil pretty thick and that'll break down really nice. And we'll just leave this like this until, you know, spring into summer and see how long it lasts. It's be up under the shade tree a little bit. Of course, you know, a lot of the tree got devoured by the ice storm. But at least this will give me a cold frame where I can grow some dandelion lettuce and stuff in here. And I'll go ahead and pull some shade cloth that I can just slide over and then put a brick over it just secure it and then when it's you know on days that I don't need the shade cloth then I can just pull it back no big deal but I have some work to do but it's getting late in the evening and it's cool and I'm kind of cold and the wind's really blowing it's like 50 something degrees but that wind feels like 
I don't know, like it cuts right through you. So, anyway, this is just what you can do with some straw bales, um, leftover plastic that I took apart out of a raised bed. Throw your veggie scraps in, your, you know, pet manure. Now, there are manures that you can't use straight out. Rabbit manure you can. So I have six pet rabbits, and so I can put the manure in here and then throw some soil down and it'll be good to go. Anyway, um, I'll work some more on it probably after Thanksgiving because I've got to get busy on prepping things for the holiday. But at least, you know, you can get an idea of something quick you can do out of a cold frame. And I think it's just being resourceful. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, when your friends get done with their decorations, their straw bales or hay bales, get them. Use them. Just like with the pumpkins, you know, get your get all those pumpkins you can use it for um chickens getting ready to go pick up some uh, pumpkins from family and i'll use them for the chickens and they love pumpkin they devour it so anyway i thought i would show you this i thought it was just a resourceful thing uh, i might have to kind of scoot that window over that way a little bit but i like it all right this is a, a way to make a cold frame. And these are so neat. You can grow all winter long. All right, y'all. Wendy at Hardneck Farms.